Hello everybody, I am just Lance and I would like to welcome all of you back for another video. Pardon me. Anyways, I figured since it's a new year, we would do a few new things. Hang on a second. I need to open my window. Anyways, got a little stuffy in here, so I figured open up the window. Anyways, so like I said, figure we'll do some new things. I'm gonna go ahead and use a few things, you know, a couple of things that uh, I'm going to be using. You've probably already seen me use some of them. You won't. So let's go ahead. Let's take a look at what we're going to use. Oh, and by the way, instead of it being a face shave, it's going to be a head shave. I've never done a head shave on camera. Uh, my friend Christian, he's been asking when I'm going to do an um, um, on-camera head shave. I told him soon figured hey new year let's do something new anyways so first off the razor i'm going to be using tonight is one that was piffed to me in that box beautiful box of razors it's this one the 1956 gillette red tip super speed the blade in that is a Gillette Silver Blue on its first use. I really, really just dig the shave of that red tip. Um, it's just, I mean, it's a great razor. It's a great razor. That's, that's all I can say about it. I can see why they are so popular. The brush, which you've seen me use before, is this one. The Razor Rock. 24 millimeter plus soft synthetic brush in the barber handle. That is a solid acrylic handle. It's got a nice weight to it. Um, if you are thinking about checking one of these out, if you're into synthetics um, and you haven't just and you haven't made up your mind, go for it. It's a great brush. It's um, it's one of my favorites. The soap, actually, first I'm going to apply the Cremo Cooling for pre-shave. Um, that's actually a shaving cream, but the lather I get out of it sucks, but it's an outstanding uh, pre-shave. And you can get that at Target for like six six bucks for six ounces. So a buck an ounce, that ain't bad. And the cream, I paid three bucks for it. Um, over on Razor Rock or Italian Barber. And it's this one. Darby Lavender. Um... When I first got it, it had kind of a menthol kick, which I liked. Um, the scent strength isn't that strong in the tube, but it gets a little stronger out of the tube. But this cream oil, however, uh, in the tube, it's, it's kind of strong. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut away here. I'm going to go ahead and do my shave my face. When I come back, we'll go ahead and shave the dome. Anyways, see y'all in a minute. Alright everybody, that was a great face shave that that red tip gave me. Um, yeah, I'm real happy with that. Um, BBS all the way guys, BBS all the way. Um, yeah, no, no more irritation than I might get. Because I do go against the grain. And you know. I've done. You know. With with the grain. And across the grain. Left it at that. And, and it's just. I don't know. My, my, my facial hair. It's just real coarse. So I mean. I, I, I'm not satisfied with the results. So I'm willing to accept. A little bit of irritation. Um, it's never nothing that kills me. It's definitely, no, oh, pardon me. It's definitely way better than what I used to get uh, using Kangoo and uh, disposables on the neck. 
miles better. Anyways, so yeah, I hope you all had a good Christmas and a Happy New Year's. And, um, you know, I hope you all got some good shaving goodies. Uh, we didn't have a lot of money around here. So, um, you know, I really didn't get many shaving. I really didn't get any shaving goodies. But my, you know, uh, the girls that I told you about, my girlfriend's close friends, they're like family. Um, and they're like little sisters to me, I guess. You know, they got some packages headed this way. And I can't open them until they get here. So, no telling what they are. And, um, and so that's going to be interesting and someone else out there and you know who you are is you know informed me that they're sending me something in the mail so yeah i look very forward to, to that so we'll go ahead and we'll see what's what but anyways so yeah let's go ahead and let's get busy on this head shave um i'm gonna go ahead and use the cream of cooling as a pre-shave so let me get my from my head right here, I shave in two two parts. I always say it shave the front half first because I just don't want it to, you know, the back to dry out. So let me squeeze this here cremo down and I'll show you how I go ahead and use it like a pre-shave. So I'll just Squirt some onto the dome. Go ahead, you don't need much because this stuff actually, I don't get that great of cream out of it. I mean, I don't get that thick of lather out of it, but I mean, it is slick. It is really pretty slick. It's it's nice um, for a pea shape. Told my girlfriend tonight I wanna hit target and you know, and pick up one of each scent. Hope y'all ain't seeing my hairy ass armpits. Um, <laughs> uh, there we go. So I got that rubbed in. You know, I figure, you know, they got the sandalwood scent this this cooling so we'll see what scents cream oil has what what different scent scents they have and i'll go ahead and you know get some get some pre-shave creams here um i've squirted a little bit more of the um derby extra i'm not lathering in a bowl i mean guys for four bucks if you've never used this uh, derby it's good stuff I mean, um, yeah, I mean, it's nothing to write home about when you go ahead and the lavender, when you first get it, it's, it's, if I remember right, it's pretty good as far as the scent strength, but get a little water, no. Uh -oh. But the, um, you know, it doesn't hold scent that long. But it is extra, so it's got a little bit of cooling in it. But, um, I think it actually, the cooling was actually a little stronger when I first got it. But I got it like, you know, last year. Actually, my girlfriend said, here's a budget, because we was a little tight on money at the time, too, back then. Um, and she was like, here's your budget, just go somewhere and order what you want. I said, oh, okay, so. Um, I went ahead and went to... Italian barber and ordered some stuff, so one second. 
anyways. I'm gonna go with the grain. You can hear that red tip just ripping through that hair. Anyways, so, um... Ooh, Nick cut myself. Didn't cut myself, just cut myself with that overhang of the blade. That's, that's the one problem with these, with these safety razors is, you know, they got a little overhang. If you ain't watching it, it, it'll, 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 nick, it'll, it'll tap you, or it'll tag you. Um, <laughs> I was using my Merker 34C once, and I shaved my head, and all of a sudden, the handle you know, so now my hand got a little bit of soap on it and I didn't realize it. And uh it kinda spun in my hand and oh, 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 oh. I'll tell you what, that felt real good. Um the side of the blade just like yeah, he's kinda done in. And, I mean, it didn't draw, I mean, a little bit of blood, but not bad. And hang on. But a little bit of blood, not too bad. But, boy, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I had a nice little, nice little scratch right there for several days. Um... But, you know, when you're blind, shaving your head, well, when you're blind, shaving, period, um, I guess, well, I don't know, I have no idea, um, it's been years since I could remember how it was to see myself in the mirror, so, um, I mean, I can see something there. But, but, not really, so, you know, it makes shaving and your face and your head kind of, kind of interesting. Uh, pretty much, if you ain't hearing the whiskers get cut, and you know that you either have to adjust your angle or you got them all. So, against the grain now. So, um, to 406, Shaver, um, I saw your video, man, um, and, uh, where you announced, uh, that giveaway, um, so, I haven't had a chance to comment on it yet or anything, man, but um, Dennis is a good dude. He's a real good dude. Um, he's actually a pretty awesome dude. Um, but as far as, you know, what you're doing, that's great, you know. Um, I'm not sure what I'll do when I have a giveaway when I reach a certain number of subscribers, like a hundred subscribers or something. I'm not sure what I'll do. And I will share your video, dude. Um, but yeah, if you haven't checked out 406, 4 oh 6 space Shaver. I believe Shaver is capitalized. Or if you see them comment on one of my videos, just go ahead and click on them and check them out. Seems like a solid dude. Um, Carl over there on Kiefer ended up 
pithing me a um, Chevette, which has a really, really, I mean, the part you load the blade in that holds the blade, it's much thinner than my Sally Beauty Supplies. Um, Uh, what do you call it? Chevette, the one I used in the um, three-year shave. So, I've been messing with that. Um, I mean, I'm pretty good on the cheeks. Still learning around the, the mouth and the underside here. Um, I still got to go ahead and check out Chevette World on, on Facebook. So, But thank you, Kiefer. I've been having a blast using it. I thank you, Carl. I've been having a blast using it. Um, oh, that's nice. Nice, nice and smooth. So, let me go ahead and rinse this. Rinse, uh, you know, go ahead and get the back of my head wet and slap some of this here cream of cooling and we'll go ahead and do the back. Forehead. Um, so yeah, I've been having fun with that. Um, I find that I'm a little more cautious with it than I am that magic, that Sour Beauty Supply magic one, because I mean it's it's just what I imagine a straight race. It's just. The fill is more like a straight razor to me than that Chevette um, is. So, and Carl said that when he saw that Chevette in a Shave of the Day video, to him it looked like a, a Framback straight razor. So, I mean, I eventually want to get into straights a little bit. Um, don't know if I'll ever get into the honing, but I figure if I get myself a couple of nice straights and, you know, I'm shaving with them once a week, shaving with one once a week, then, you know, uh, I see the stallion get like, what, 60-something, 70-something shaves off a of gold, gold dollar, so... You know, um, so I figure if I'm shaving once a week with a straight, because I love my DEs I'll, I'll, and my SEs, I will always stay a DE and SE shaver. But, here we go. I figure that if I'm shaving once a week with a straight, yeah, it's taking it down nice, flip it, then uh, I ought to be able to go for quite some time between homes. You know, maybe, maybe have to just send them off once a year or something to get them honed. I don't know. Okay, give it a rinse. Let me fill back here. But, uh, you know, once a year before, I gotta give it a home. And if that, maybe every 18 months or longer. So, yeah, I figure one of these days. Oh. Um, dive in, but first, um, I want to get my Chevette technique down before I tackle a straight blade, a straight razor. Um, because I understand if you're if you're shaving, like Steve the Daily Shaver says, 
If you're shaving and you feel it start to cut you, stop. Um, I believe that's what Steve down there in Australia says. Um, which that makes perfect sense, but... The problem is, is... If you get neglectful, you might not be able to... But if you get distracted for a sec, you might not be able to really stop in time. Um, so, you know, who knows? Okay, I'm not going to worry about that, so I'm just going to apply some more cream. Shaving cream. Shave every day, shave every day, and you'll always be clean. Um, Josh does stuff. He used to be the um, bald and beardless. Um, he may not be everybody's cup of tea, but he's an interesting dude to watch. Um, he's got, I can't remember his subscribers. Um, He's definitely got more than me, so unfortunately I haven't come across any, really any channels to do a small channel mafia shout out, so, so, you know, like Carl said in one of his last videos, if, if you know of anybody that ain't got a lot of subscribers and they should be mentioned, Go ahead and tell me, I'll, 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 I'll mention them. Oh, I know a number of you that watch me, watches Carl and, you know, probably some of you probably watch Carl and, ooh, almost got myself there. And 406. Yeah, you can hear it just ripping it, through, ripping through the hair, man. Um, yeah, Paul H. seems like he's sick. He posted a video actually saying no Wednesday shave because I guess he came down with something. So, Paul, you probably never will see this, but get better, man. Um, saw Shave Buster. Came out with another video for his final shave of 2017, and he said that you know he might make another video. He might not. Pretty much, he's taken most of the content down on his channel, from what he said, and it just wasn't the same shave busta. Um, you know. Uh, so, you know, but, hey, guys eventually move on. I figure if I ever start getting burnt out, or feeling burnt out, which I haven't yet, so don't think I'm, you know, warning all you guys, but if I ever start feeling kind of burnt out, heck, I'll go ahead and I'll tell y'all, hey, I'm stepping away for a, for a few weeks, or a month, whatever, not make anything and then come back and why are you all with my bubbly and sparkling personality um but no oh I lost track of thought 406 you said that you want to be a better person better husband better you know or you want to you know do do your best as a person a dad and a father if you had to make a New Year's resolution. And that's a pretty good one to make, dude. That's a pretty darn good one to make. Um, especially when you got a kid. You always wanna, always wanna try and be the best dad you can be. And as he gets older, there'll be times when you just, you'll sit there and throw your hands in the air and say, oh man, that little so and that little ring, 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 you'll sound like Fred Flintstone under your breath, and but 
after you calm down then you know you just say hey dude so yeah and that's so I I feel you man I feel you you always want you always are striving to be a better dad and a better boyfriend a better husband better person that's as long as you're working at that then that's good anyways um yeah that's the oh i missed the little spot right there anyways so you guys tell me how's it look anyways is it as cdb call christopher david bailey calls level cue ball that's as close to level cue balls I can say. That red tip is an awesome head shaver. I will say that. Oh, I missed a little spot right there. That that this red tip is an absolutely wonderful, wonderful head shaving razor. I love it. It's it's does does the job and it does it right. So that's why I said I can agree with Douglas Smythe when he said. They should have stopped. I'm, I'm glad they didn't stop after the red tip because they made so many more awesome razors. But as far as super speeds go, I think that's the all the super speeds I've used. I think that's the best design they've done. I haven't used a lot. I've used a black handle, a flare, a blue tip, a 51 straight regular tip, and that one. So that's five super speeds. So yeah, I mean, that's the best one I've used out of the five. Anyways. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, rinse off my head, and I'll be back for the, my thoughts on the gear and the post. You know, um, before I get to my thoughts of the gear and the post shape, um, what's that? If I would have thought about it, I would have put that, that Cremo and that Darby Extra in the honorable mentions category because... Um, the 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 cremo it's for me not the greatest cream i mean i don't really get a good lather out of it i mean it's it's i get a better better lather out of the darby by far well maybe not by far but a pretty good amount uh but it's just an awesome awesome pre-shave um I mean, really, really slick stuff. Um, so I should have put it in there from the honorable mentions because of how slick it truly is for a pre-shave. And I should have put the Darby in there. I mean, yeah, it's not an in-your-face smell. And, you know, it's it's nothing that's going to, you know, knock your socks off. But it creates a good lather and, and plenty, plenty of, you know, plenty of everything you want in a cream. Just as far as the scent, you know, strength and all that, not that great. I mean, it's a great, great price. I mean, what? Three, four bucks? Three bucks? You know, I paid three bucks for it on Italian Barber. Anyways, so let's go ahead and end my thoughts. Um, the razor did absolutely incredible. Um, baby butt smooth on the face. The, around the mouth, um, the neck, great. My uh, trouble spots, it got those pretty good. Um, which one is right in here because my chin sticks out quite a bit. Um, so that was, yeah, I mean, it cleaned that up really nice. Um, my head, pretty, pretty good, pretty freaking smooth. Um, very, very happy with it. Uh, the blade, that Gillette Silver Blue, it was on its first use, but I mean, I love those blades. I mean, sharpness, smoothness, I mean, they're all there for me. Um, the brush, you know, what can I say? It's a, it's a Razor Rock Plus Soft. I mean, you know, if you know anything about it, you know what I mean? So, anyways, yeah, that's, that's my thoughts on the gear. Anyways, so let's move on to the post. First, we're going to use good old Dickens Witch Hazel. Um, 
I never heard of this brand. Um, it was sent to me, and it just, I really, really like, I still got some of the cheap dollar general stuff left, but, you know, I figured, what the hell. Um, new year, new year, new gear type thing, or new products. Uh, it's got a little bit of a burn, a little bit of a tingle, um, you know, just like the Dollar General, which is does, a little bit more. Um, but I really, 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 really like this stuff. Um, let me know where you got it, dude. Um, let me know where you got it, Dennis. I, if it's something that, that is on a site, let me know which site. So, next time I go out, you know, next time I want to drop a little bit of money on some shape stuff, I can check out the site and, you know, Maybe pick up a couple of more bottles of it. Um, it's good stuff. I like it. So, that is the Witch Hazel. We'll go ahead and we'll go with the Nivea Poche Bomb. Yeah, I need to get some more Poche, some more bombs, aftershave bombs. Um, but, you know, this stuff it has been kind of a workhorse of my of my poche products. That and the Dollar General Witch Hazel. You know. They're two products that I've pretty much had in my uh, arsenal, so to speak, since not long after I started wet shaving. No, look much. So, I mean, I just love the stuff. So, the nice thing is, if you use a little bit too much, just, you know, do like ball Josh over there, you know, when Josh does stuff, just rub it on your freaking arms. You know, elbows, whatever. If you got dry skin anywhere, rub it on. Um... You know, I get dry skin on the side of my nose sometimes, and I've got a little bit there. So, mm. we'll get right there and there. And then I'll just rub it in. And it helps soften up that skin right there. Let that dry in for just a sec. Oops, that goes up here. Now, time for the aftershave. It's not really an aftershave, but I'm going to use it like an aftershave. Um, Jordash's version of Chakar. Or Chakar. Whatever it's called. Chakar, Chakar, whichever. Um, it's got a little pump. So, spray a little in my hand. Woo, got some steam to it. About four squirts in the palm. we go. Rub the rest on the shirt. Anyways, that's been the shave. Hope you all enjoyed it. Um, figured I'd change it up a little bit. If you guys would like to see the occasional head shave, let me know in the comments. Um, you know, uh, it'd give you a little bit of a change from, you know, just a face shave all the time. So, um, anyways, once again, I hope you all had a great Christmas, a happy new year, uh, and hopefully, you know, we'll see where the channel goes here in 2018. I got a good feeling about it. I think it's going to, you know, go ahead and, and come up a little bit. So anyways, um, y'all take it easy and I will see all of you on the flip side of the blade. Um, real quick. 
Likes, comments, subscriptions, email is justlance59 at gmail.com, all lowercase, no spaces, all one word. Anyways, bye-bye now.